Hey YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel on your web for all things geeky and cool. In this video, guys, we have another subscription unboxing video. We're going to be looking at the August 2018 case number 28 from Collector's Case. Now, what makes Collector's Case really, really cool is because it's a monthly subscription box. You can actually get all sorts of geek and pop culture items. Usual price point for this box that you see right here is $25 US. They curate all sorts of geeky items, and it usually doubles the price point of a box. There should be tentative about 50 bucks worth of stuff in this box. Now this of course, as I said, is a $25 collector's case. They have an upgraded version where you can spend about 50 to $60 depending on celebrities. That's right guys, celebrities do all sorts of autographs in the collector's case box. For August 2018, the autograph in this box, what everyone is hunting for, is an actor by the name of David Hayden Jones. He's a guy from Supernatural. I personally haven't seen any of his stuff yet. He was part of the Men of Letters storylines that came out in Supernatural. He played the character Arthur Catch. Now, if you want your own collector's case, you can go to the website listed right here, collector's case. Now, all I've done so far is cut the bottom of the tape. I have not yet seen anything in this particular box. Again, this is the $25 box. The chance of pulling an autograph in this box is one of three. You have a shot at it, you're not guaranteed it. So let's actually get into it here. So when you actually open the box, it will look something like this. You'll see some uh, paper in the front that says collector's case on it like that. And they do a lot of stuff for wearables. They do mainly t-shirts. I see that on the very, very top of the box. Let's actually do it here. That's very, very cool. I would think maybe it's a supernatural theme box because you have a supernatural uh, guest, in this case, uh, from um, uh, David Hayden Jones. So I think there might be something supernatural in this box. So the item that they showcase here is the Michelin Man version of the State Puff Marshall Mellow Man. A nice little liberty they took on it. Very, very cool looking design. Uh, it's a blue shirt, as you can see right there. This is a shirt punch shirt which I've talked about in other uh, collector case videos that I've done unboxings for. Shirt Punch was a company that was linked with NerdBlock. So to get a Shirt Punch shirt is very, very odd for a collector's case box. They usually do different company shirts. They're leaning more to Shirt Punch now, so it's kind of odd. Let's actually keep going. We got some blind box items here. We have a Pint Size Hero Power Ranger. I can tell you with certainty these go for about $5 a piece. Uh, you can get Red Ranger, Yellow Ranger, Blue Ranger, Black Ranger. I want Green Ranger. I want Tommy. Uh, you can get White Ranger, another Tommy I like to get. Pink Ranger, you can get Alpha, you can get uh, Goldar, Rita, you can get, I'm not sure who this one guy here in the corner is, it might be, oh, it's a putty, and you can get another Blue Ranger. So I don't know why there's two Blue Rangers, maybe there's a metallic version, but he's listed twice. I don't know if that's a packaging error. You can see it right there in the packaging. It's on the top and on the bottom, so very, very odd why he's listed two specific times. His rarity level is one of 12. So there's actually 13 figures here, two, four, six, eight, 10. No, there's 12 figures here, so I don't know why he's listed two times. Maybe he's metallic. I don't know. So we get a Black Ranger. We got Black Ranger, which is Zack from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. He looks nice. These are the uh, pine size heroes. So you get a big, huge head and an itty bitty little body. So I don't know if you can even get it in the shot there, but hopefully we can see it there. He's right over here in the corner. Let's actually see what else we got. We got something really cool here. We got a Superman item. This is a, eight, a, a 10 inch plush figure Superman from of course uh, Batman v Superman. This was done by Bleachers. Uh, he does look nice. I have one very similar to this one. I think it was a, maybe a Spider-Man one possibly he looks something like this, or actually Deadpool. I have a Deadpool that looks just like this one, which again is a Bleachers one. So this, I would probably put the price point on this guy here of maybe, I would say maybe $10, $12 at least, probably at least 10 bucks. I can tell you 10 bucks at least for that item. We have a uh, Triceraton. This is a Dwarves item. This is a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles item from Dorbs. Let's actually, we'll take a look at him in a second. He's number 406. Uh, I don't collect a lot of Dorbs item. I have my knife and my scissors here to help me out. So let's actually take a look at what this guy is. I have a few Dorbs pieces, not a whole lot. Um, I'm not really a Dorbs guy. I usually get any type of Green Ranger Dorbs because I'm a big, big Green Ranger fan. It's, uh, it can be a Green Lantern fan. I said Green Ranger. Green Lantern. Uh, this is a Triceratron. Triceratron. Triceratron, 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 I think it's called. Uh, big old head, usually the head does move. But I don't know why I said Green Ranger, it's actually Green Lantern. That was a very, 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 very odd week for me. <laughs> Triceraton here. Uh, he does have a rotation on the head, it spins 360. Usually dwarves have this sort of look and feel to them. If you're not familiar with dwarves, they're meant to be adorable, hence the name Dorbs. That's why they got that name and branding from. So we'll leave him out of packaging, we'll keep going. Uh, hopefully we'll get some other items here. These go for about, I wanna say, I want to say $10 for Dorbs. I could be off on the price point, though. 
So we have here, oh, that's kind of interesting. We have a comic. It is Marvel Adventures, Superheroes featuring Hulk and Tigra, number 15. These are a pre-selected comic. Um, this might be, I don't know, it might be a bonus item. Usually when you do comics like this, sometimes they're bonus items, sometimes they're given in the actual box. Uh, pretty cool comic. I don't know anything about this. This is from, it looks like maybe it's linked up Superhero Squad. The way the artwork looks, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. Again, I'm taking a guess. Uh, we have here a big item and it's another item. Ooh, that's kind of cool. We have a, I have this identical item already. It is a Slimer bottle opener. Uh, this might be a giveaway item since I actually have one of these in my, you know, on my fridge right now. This is a legit item. It is, uh, I mean, it stands about this tall. It's really, really solid. It's made of like pewter. So, I mean, it, it is very, very solid. There is a lot of weight to it. Uh, I would probably put this at maybe about $10 as well for that item. Uh, we have this massive guy here, which is kind of cool. I like what they did here. We got ourselves Stanley. This is, of course, Vinyl Idols. A really cool looking item. I will take him out of the packaging. The video is going to run a little longer than expected, guys. So I hope you like it because there's a lot of cool stuff. There's one item left in the box. So these go for a price. I think I think they're about, I want to say 15 bucks for Vinyl Idols, but I could be wrong on it. Um, he does come with a stand. But this is what it looks like. He has the Spider-Man Thwip finger, which looks very, very cool. Um, he stands about, I mean, this was 10 inches for the uh, plush uh, Superman. So he stands about eight inches tall, seven to eight inches tall. Oops, he's gonna fall down again. Get him standing back up, stay in the shot. There we go. Come on, stand up. I gotta fix the Superman. Gotta lean him back a little bit. There we go, stay. So he looks about seven to eight inches tall. There is no articulation with vinyl idols. It's all one solid staction piece. And he does, like I said, have a, a double foot peg here in the bottom. So you can actually peg him in a position. So it is really, really cool. Uh, again, I'm not a big fan of uh, vinyl idols. I have a couple of the pieces. I know I have the soup Nazi um, that came in another box. So these go for about, I want to say at least, um, at least 10, I want, I want to say at least 12 bucks for that. And there is one other item in here. And it's because I, in fact, did get the autograph. David Hayden Jones autograph, legit item from uh, Collector's Case. Thank you very much, Collector's Case. It does come with a certificate of authenticity. Uh, what they usually do, and you see his name here, David Hayden Jones on the bottom. Uh, as I said, it's one of three, but they usually give you different shots. And I'll talk about that in a second here. They have a lot of different shots that, they, that the actors have. And this is just one example of what one of the shots would look like. So very cool to get an autograph for David Hayden Jones. That's all the items in the box. I'm very happy to get an autograph. I usually haven't been pulling autographs uh, last Last month's box, I didn't get the celebrity autograph, but I did get an autograph for a trading card. Now, one thing for collector's case, if you guys are not aware, they do a lot of trading cards in their boxes. There wasn't one in this month's box, so very, very surprising. They usually have uh, autograph uh, trading cards, which is one of their kind of bread and butter that they do. So let's actually look at the dossier. You'll get one of these in every single collector's case uh, if you're not familiar, uh, familiar. So when you crack it open, it tells you all the items in this month's box. So let's actually get to it. Okay, this is kind of the reason why I got something different. I was supposed to think, get, what should have gotten the Diamond Ghostbusters State Puff uh, metal bottle opener. I, in fact, got Slimer. So I don't know if that was an incorrect item or a last minute change. I'd like to have gotten the State Puff because it would have matched the shirt. So I think that might have been a, a last minute either change or I got the wrong item. I don't really know. Uh, next item we have here is the Stan Lee Funko Vinyl Idols, which is, of course, this guy right here. Very cool looking piece. We have the Funko Pite Size Heroes. We got, of course, a Black Ranger, Zack. Uh, we have a comic book. Round two of the random comics. Every case will have a random comic or two. I got a single comic. Um, there are many great comics, even if you have no idea what you'll get. So they have a like sort of a grab bag of different comics you can get. I got the, as I said, the uh, superhero featured Hulk and Tigra comic. We have Bleacher Creatures, Batman v Superman. So I got the Superman version. I guess you could have gotten Batman as well. Um, yeah, you could have gotten <laughs> Batman, Armored Batman, Superman, or Black Panther. That's kind of weird where they, you could have gotten Black Panther as well. You have DC, 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 Marvel. I don't know why they went that approach. I couldn't tell you. 
the t-shirt we had was the marshmallow t-shirt which was this blue one that I talked about earlier very much like the state puff uh, but like the um the Michelin man the tire guy that you see years and years ago very similar take to the Michelin man state puff uh, uh, marsh just says marshmallow on it so very cool um, which specialty pop did you get uh, you could have gotten Triceraton from TMNT or DC Comics Superman number one so there was a very you could get one or two different dwarves on that one and I did in fact get the autograph from David Hayden Jones as you can see right here this is what some of the autographed examples would have looked like and if we turn on the back of it, there's always stuff on the back. They talk about chase the case, snap, tag, and share for your chance to win some Funko items. Uh, September's case, they usually give you two next two months ahead of time. We have Michael Jai White, which is right here. You can get autographs from him. He, of course, he played Spawn. And you can get stuff from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, that case, I did a little research. I think you get one of three different autographs out of that box. So this was a very good box, all things considered. Let's talk about what I always talk about at the end of a collector's case or any unboxing video I do. When it's a box like this for subscription boxing is value. How much value is really packed into this box? So it's actually break it down here for you. The shirt, I usually put a shirt at about $10 as just a ballpark average. Some shirts are more, some shirts might be at $10. So I usually get an average of $10. The Funko, uh, excuse me, the Vinyl Idols is about 12, so we're having at about 22 right now. Which we're at the point of where the case value is at, which was 25. The Superman here from the plush, probably the $10, so we're at 32. The bottle opener, I'll call it even to break the case value of eight bucks. So we're at now total here of $40 worth of value. To try Seraton, I believe Dorbs have a price point of about $9, so we're at 50 bucks. The Pine Size Heroes goes for $5, so we're at $55. The comic here is listed at, I wanna say, this is probably about a $3 comic, so we're about 58 bucks. And of course, you can't call it all the time, but the autograph would add a lot more value intrinsically to this box. So we're at 58 bucks plus the autograph. We'll kind of round it out just to call it even at about 60 bucks. What I think total value of this particular case would be. It was a good box. I wish I would have gotten the State Puff bottle opener instead of the Slimer one since I already have that one. So it's unfortunate I got the, I think maybe the wrong item or they changed it at the last minute. Sometimes this stuff is printed way ahead of time. They can't get the items in house quick enough and they got to make an adjustment on the fly to get another item in the box. So all in all, Collector's Case, case number 28, featuring David Hayden Jones, the autograph guy that we got right here. I think all in all, it was a very, very good box. Uh, definitely hope you like this actual unboxing on my channel, Rookie Goodness. Definitely always click that like button. Always click subscribe, which is a picture of my face. When you subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to be notified of my latest videos. And of course, last but not least, you can click Windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. I'll see you next video, and bye-bye.